What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the Liverpool Career World Show with a brand new episode and we have a very very interesting uh, message Patrick Morris who is one of our youth academy players wants to get promoted and he's an awesome youth academy player so I will show you that Vina Adum is sold to Dortmund for 32 million I think this is a realistic transfer Vina Adum will be like 31 next season and he's already starting to decline so this is where we get maximum amount of money for Vina Adum and Patrick Morris is a 62 rated left midfielder, 86 to 92 potential, very good acceleration sprint speed. So let's promote him and let's check out his stats and what kind of skill moves. He so here it is, Patrick Morris, and he can play a lot of positions, right midfield, left midfield, right wing and cam. He's left footed as well, four star weak foot, three star skills, pretty awesome player very good physical stats as already and of course he's finishing 62 that will improve minimum 86 potential i just really hope that we can loan him out so he can get uh, more playing time another youth academy player messaged us that he wants to get promoted and i think he will be a future star john gray awesome youth academy goalkeeper 69 rated already 84 to 90 potential already 72 reflexes 75 kicking 74 diving so i will promote him of course and loan him out so he gets better and also we get a transfer offer for dejan lovren for 9.7 million pounds a really really awesome transfer offer i think for a player who is 31 so he will start to decline and next season i will get Sepp van den Berg back from his loan probably and I will give him that fourth centre-back spot and hopefully he can do us uh, a little bit better than Lovren so let's negotiate let's try and get a little bit more money from Monaco so let's ask for 12 million and they want a 1% silly really close I mean are you are you taking the mickey out of me really let's do 11 million and let's see what they say to that i'm not sure if they will accept it or not 10.2 i think we can settle on like 10.5 let's hope they accept it monaco no they don't all right that's that's interesting so monaco said 10.5 is too much for lovren and as always thank you so much for your awesome support on the previous liverpool episodes it really means the world to me if you want to see more episodes just keep the likes coming let's get this video to like 100 likes tottenham and man united won their games man city lost to tottenham which is huge because now man city slipped down to sixth place so man city are in serious trouble to miss out on the top four and we also have work to do i think the title race will be between tottenham and man united it's, it's really painful i will try to win every game from now and the end of the season in the premier league and let's see where that takes us we can still achieve 90 points this season so let's try and accomplish that welcome to the fulham liverpool game really pumped for this because we are under massive pressure to perform at liverpool it's unacceptable to lose back-to-back -back games especially at home it very rarely happens so we have to make up for it with a good winning run in the premier league and Jaden sancho is the player to watch he will replace vina uh, sorry Firmino, who got an eight week injury oh go on go on sancho And Nabi Keita and Salah. Wow! Oh. Come on, come on, Nabi Keita. Have a dig! Unbelievable save! Wow, Robertson. Come on, Salah! Please, yes! Oh, that's Salah. A fantastic turn and a great finish. And finally, we are up and running. We have been battering Fulham so far. This has been a really good start to the game and look at that, it's just a great close control by Salah. He rolls the defender and shoots and a great finish. And Salah has been on a goal drought, so I'm really happy that finally puts away one of his chances. He was so unlucky against Man United hitting the post. I'm still not over that game, if you guys haven't guessed. 24 goals for Salah. Can he break his record? I'm not sure, but I will try my best. Are you kidding? Yahambash is through! This is terrible! But Alisson, thank you Alisson, oh my goodness, I just forgot to 
worry about that guy really for a second and he was through look at this finally in the last minute of normal time Salah please Mohamed Salah what a save unlucky no oh, Mohamed Sarri no way I can't believe this again we are our own worst enemies because we created so many chances in the first half and I'm just wasteful in front of goal and Fulham with their second chance they score a goal and this was again let, that is a great play I, I can't really defend that but why is Salah defending Mitrovic what is going on go on go on Trent please Sancho unreal Oh, Sancho. Mane. Oh, Sancho holds it up. Havertz. Havertz is through. And Havertz scores. Cut in there. Come on. Kai Havertz makes it 2-1. And it's a richly deserved goal. Get in there, Havertz. Great celebration as well. Wow. Did we need this? This hold-up play by Sancho was fantastic. So my decision to put Sancho as a center forward it's quite controversial, but he is big, strong, and Hubbard finally puts his chance away. And he needed a goal, Hubbard, because he hasn't scored for a few games. Seven goals now for Kai Hubbard. No, no way. Oh, what a block. I'm not sure, was it Van Dijk? Brown. Come on, man. Yes. Please. Go on, Mane! And Sancho! Come on! Havertz! It's 3 1! Yes! Oh, we had to make this count! Fulham were camped in our own half and on the counter attack, Sancho has the composure to back heal it to Havertz, who gets two goals, a man of the match performance so far for Kai Havertz and I need to make substitutions our defense is knackered especially like Van Dijk, uh, Trent, Robertson so let's bring on three defenders and on the counter attack oh yes oh yes Salah oh beautiful and Jaden Sancho I'm not sure if I made the right decision I didn't go on go on Oh my goodness, Kai Havertz, what a run, and he scores a hat-trick, Havertz, it's four, and a hat-trick for Havertz, oh, he is back to his old goal-scoring form, that ball roll is so effective, Salah was bothering me a little bit, and Vigi Caballero, the sun might have settled on his career, because, uh, yeah, that's not good goalkeeping. Nine goals for Havertz in the, the Premier League. Three of them coming in this one game. Kai Havertz gets the match ball from the referee. What a performance from him. Absolutely brilliant. And this is exactly what we needed after losing back-to-back -back games. Going out of the FA Cup and probably going out of the Premier League title race. 13 shots, 8 on target. So a free goal victory is fully deserved. Salah broke his goal scoring dock just like Havertz and a 10.0 match rating from Havertz because not only did he score a hat-trick but he got an assist as well perfect performance from Havertz stunning outstanding player oh Tottenham and Man United won again so I, I'm not sure if I can even catch them because I mean we needed to win all our games and I remember that we conceded the 90th minute equalizer against Wolverhampton and then we conceded the 90th minute winner uh, from Man United against us. So that is five points dropped in just two games in the 90th minute, which is heartbreaking stuff really. And we really missed those five points because if we were five points better, we would be in the title race. Man United and Tottenham won at home. No surprises there. Chelsea and Arsenal only got to draw. 
which is a good result for us because Chelsea were pushing us for third place. Defensively, that's where I need to improve. Our attack is really good, but defensively, I mean, we conceded twice as many goals as Man United. And I really hate uh, this because we are playing Alex and Ronald in almost every single game. And he's still complaining that he needs to play more often. I mean, you are playing almost every game, Trent. Don't complain, please. Oh, wow. Shakiri is also very popular. And Inter, one of his former clubs, come in with a very generous offer. 20.6 million. I will try to negotiate an even better price. Let's ask for 24 million, which I know is an incredibly high number. Oh wow, 20.6 plus a 6% selling on close. You know what, let's try 23 million. That's not too far from their valuation of 20.6. I'm not sure. Oh wow, they accepted it. So we are selling Shakiri for 23 million when he's only worth 20.6 and Shakiri is not playing for us anyway. I just can't fit him into the side. I'm playing Soboslai or Ox. Even though we had three rest days between our game against Fulham and the Atletico game, our team is still pretty tired, which I'm, I'm not too happy about. So we need to make some changes. Ox, Henderson and Matip come in, but otherwise I want to play my strongest team. We have some good players on the bench if uh, we need to make some substitutions. Let's win this or at least get a an away goal and try and get a result here. Come on, I want my revenge against Atletico. Welcome to the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium, the stadium where Liverpool won the Champions League last season in real life. And I'm really, really excited about this one because Liverpool lost here one year in real life and ultimately because we couldn't finish our chances in the, in the second leg, we went out of the Champions League. So I really want to get my revenge and I love that they show the tunnel, the players coming out of the tunnel, so it gives us and even it, it gives us a feeling of this is a big, being a big big Champions League night and the fact that this is only the only competition that we realistically can win I really am highly motivated to get past Atletico Madrid oh wow Rashford is playing for Atletico he has eight goals in eight games the competition record is 17 goals I'm not sure if Rashford can beat that but Oh wow, they have Gabriel Jesus as well and Carrasco. What a team for Atletico Madrid. But this is what the Champions League is all about. Because you come up against the best teams, the best players in the world. So here is that Atletico Madrid team that really wiped the floor with Monaco. I think they won 7-0 something like that. Rashford and Gabriel Jesus, what a strike partnership. Alexandro, Felipe, Jimenez and Trippier is their back line. No way. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Come on. Yes, Nabi Keita. Oh, what a fantastic piece of play. And Mani. No. Come on, Keita. And Oxley Chamberlain is straight at Oblak. Oh, go on. Go on. Nabi Keita. Yes. Yes, Mane. No penalty. And Mane gets injured. Come on. Anderson. Nabi Keita. Yes, Mane. Mane has uh, that small injury. But he can still do business. Oh, block. He gets the ball. He passes it to Ox. Henderson. Nabi Keita. And... Mane, Mane, please, Sadio, Mane, it's a one nail, it's an away goal, I can't believe that the injured Sadio Mane is the player for Liverpool to score the opener and I was really afraid here because I was got a little bit too close to the Atletico defender and Mane, I just really hope that his injury is not too serious. A vital away goal and we are 1-0 up and Simeone is distraught. And that's Mane's first goal in the Champions League. That's... We stopped Rashford but Atletico are just keep coming back. No! Oh, I couldn't get... Please no. Surely not. Van Dijk? Alright. 
Oh, we have Trent as a very, very tired player. Van Dijk is also incredibly tired. I think I will bring on Fabinho. Let's save Gomez for the next game. And instead of Mane, I will bring on Origi and put Origi up front with Sancho uh, on the wing. And let's hope that Origi can do something epic in the Champions League. And Aaron's fresh legs. Come on! Aaron's! Oh, what a run! And no way! What? Oh, what an incredible piece of defending! And Salah, if I play this right, that's a red! If it's a foul, he's the last man! Jimenez has to go off! Referee! How is this not a red card? How on earth, referee? Come on, sort yourselves out. Jimenez is the last man. I mean, he got maybe a fraction of the ball, but if that's a foul, that's a clear goal scoring opportunity. I'm not sure if he can. Oh, oh, that's actually perfect. Origi. Hold it. Oh, that's nice. And Mohamed Salah, straight at Oblak. Aaron's. Oh, please. I see Origi at the back post. And the The hero of the Champions League. Origi makes it to the What a counter attack. What a play. Aaron's coming on and substitute passes to the other substitute, Divo Origi. And Big Div gets on the score sheet. Champions League final flashbacks where Origi came on as a substitute and decided the Champions League final against Tottenham. Oh, Rashford on the wing. I have no idea where he's going. That was not good defending. Please, Alisson, that's yours. What? Come on, just catch the ball, Alisson. Clear it. Whoa, that was almost in. Yes. Can we d damage them on the counter attack? Oh my goodness, please, Salah. Salah goes in. Origi. And Origi! I can't believe it! He has done it again! Origi, two goals and a substitute! That is dreamland! And we are leading 3-0! We are doing the same performance that we did against Lazio. And I, can I even keep a clean sheet against one of the best teams in Europe, Atletico Madrid? I'm not sure. What a win! A fantastic result in the Champions League and I, I honestly I never expected this. I expected maybe a 2-1 win or a 3-2 win but to keep a clean sheet for the first time in I don't even remember when was the last time I kept a clean sheet in career mode. And to be fair to Atletico, they also had some chances so Alisson had to make some big saves. Mane, even with an injury, scored a goal. Origi two goals as a substitute. He was the man of the match. I mean, I just had a feeling that Divock Origi in the same stadium where he scored that second goal against Tottenham in real life. He just loves playing in the stadium apparently. 3-0 against Atletico. We have one foot in the semi-final and we needed this. We are out of the title race. We are out of the FA Cup. The Champions League is the only competition we have left. We have just rotten luck with injuries. After Firmino got an 8-week injury, Mane is out for 2 months. That's devastating. Two of the front three players are out with injuries. But this is why we signed uh, so many players. So we still have Origi, we have Osiman, we have Minamino. So we will be fine, but our attack won't be as potent. And we have finally a loan offer for a newly promoted Youth Academy player, John Gray is a 69 rated Youth Academy player. He has crazy good potential, so let's loan him out. And we can negotiate a two-year loan deal with Sassuolo, who is a decent uh, mid-table club in the Serie A, so I think it would be a good deal. And they agreed a good wage split as well, so hopefully Gray agrees that loan deal. It would be perfect for him. Real Madrid beat Barcelona at home 2-0 uh, and also Bayern Munich beat Milan away from home 1-0 which is pretty awesome and Juventus won away from home 
2-1 against PSG so these are the latest results and let's actually check out the Europa League and not sure if there are were any like big surprises Sevilla still went through even though they lost at home Man United went through and Chelsea went through as well so let's check out oh wow Arsenal lost to Leverkusen 3 there which is quite a big surprise but Leverkusen has usually an awesome team in a, in a later seasons in the career mode Chelsea Man United went through quite comfortably Leipzig as well as well as Leverkusen and the quarterfinals are the stage at the moment where these teams are Man United and Chelsea can still advance to the semi-finals they are in good positions our next game is the big Merseyside derby and we are frankly pretty much outsiders of the title race which really pains me because we dropped five points against Manchester United and Wolverhampton in the last minutes of the game and I really hope that Man United don't win the title at the moment it's between Tottenham and Man United and I have the Atletico Madrid second leg coming up a few days after this but I still wanted to field as much uh, my strongest possible lineup because I still want to win every game between now and the end of the season and let's see where that takes us Welcome to Anfield, Liverpool Everton no matter where these teams are in the table it's always a big game, the Merseyside Derby really looking forward to this one and also Everton are pushing for a top four or maybe even a top six place and I think that will be even a bigger motivation for them to do well in this one and that John Barnes T4 looks really really awesome as you can see Everton are just seven points behind Chelsea we are the top scorers in the Premier League but also Tottenham and Man United are up there these are no wonder these are the three teams contesting the title I mean let's see if we can get closer to Tottenham and Man United by winning this game and this is the Everton team they have Moise Can and they have Harry Wilson our own player on loan at Everton it's good to see that he's playing regularly oh boy Whew, Alisson and Origi go on Sancho to Mohamed Salah and his second shot is wide how do you miss that Salah oh my goodness Origi to Havertz and his shot is blocked oh please oh yes Sancho Origi and Go on Salah, curl it, another shot, what is going on, I have so many chances Oh Van Dijk, oh my goodness Van Dijk misses a header and the Everton player Knoche almost scores the opening goal, we are lucky Alright I have to make substitutions because as you can see some of my players incredibly tired let's bring on Lovren I think Sancho is just so so tired let's bring on Ossiman in his place we need more pace on the wing hopefully we can get behind this Everton defense no why oh why oh why did I slide in with Fabinho I forgot that he gets a, he already has a yellow and now it's a red card you know what in the Merseyside derbies red cards are very very common and now we will play without a defensive midfielder and this game just got a lot harder and we didn't need, want to give Everton any more advantages can we win the Merseyside derby with 10 men? yes, yes yes Ossiman and Origi why did you stop? did you see that Origi? just stopped I don't understand what on earth was that go on Salah Please, Osiman! Ah, oh, that was almost one nil. Come on. And look at this. Please, Osiman. Go on. Victor, Osiman. Yes, to yes. <laughs> 
Oh, the wonderful Victor Otsigan as a super sub. We take the lead with 10 men in the Merseyside Derby. I know that we are out of the title race, but it always feels so, so good beating your biggest rivals in the city one of the biggest rivals in the premier league i consider man united a bigger rival and that's Ossiman's first goal in the premier league wow what a time to get it oh aaron's nice go on origi oh my word lost a lot to say great attack uh oh Oh, Sigurdsson, Moise Ken. Oh, what an interception by Joe Gomez. Oh, that was beautiful. And Osiman, no! <laughs> Osiman was almost through. Sigurdsson to Moise Ken. What a block. What a block by Joe Gomez. Absolutely incredible. And Soboslay, oh no. He heads it straight to the Everton player. And Sigurdsson, what? Oh my goodness, Alisson, Origi, two, Hubbards, oh, oh beautiful, Guy Evans, no, oh that was so, so good, oh imagine if that went in, that would have been harsh on Everton, oh man, that was another fantastic piece of play, what a win with 10 men, we managed to win the Merseyside Derby with the, the substitute Ossiman's first Premier League goal. I just love the storylines that happen in career mode. It's really wonderful and I think we deserved it. But we were just slightly the better team. And Origi was the man of the match, he got the assist. But I think also Ossiman had a very good game. So the big news is that Leicester City managed to win, so they are still in the top four which is quite amazing Tottenham won the league leaders so no surprises there Chelsea won so they are pushing Leicester very hard but Arsenal beat Manchester United and that was very important for Arsenal who jump up to seventh place and remember that the top six qualifies Europe and even seventh place qualifies if uh, one of the top six teams wins the FA Cup Man City managed to win so they are pushing for the top four as well and uh, actually we got closer to Manchester United but I think we can't catch Tottenham now they just need I think eight more points from the last six games to finish ahead of us so it looks like at the moment that Tottenham will win the title and I really hope that I can uh, beat West Brom in the next round just to keep mounting the pressure on Manchester United maybe we can catch them and finish in second place Shadan Shakiri is sold to Inter he's going back to his old club because he's surplus to requirements and we want to give Harry Wilson more playing time next season Nathaniel Phillips the 63 rated center back I just can't sell him to anyone so he might have to be terminated his contract I mean <laughs> at the end of the season <laughs>